Hello everyone, welcome again to Investing the Difference. So I have been traveling, so I didn't update a lot of videos. I believe you must be wondering um, about my EOS updates. But I think um, uh, right now, again, I'm uh, traveling and I don't have uh, access to internet most of the times, but I think uh, I wanted to get back to you. A lot of things are happening in EOS and this is uh, going to be maybe a little bad quality audio, but let's see how it goes. So overall, uh, uh, I think, first of all, thank you for uh, continuously subscribing to our channels. I think uh, 3,000 viewers we have crossed now, and we are getting pretty good responses. A lot of people are joining our Telegram channel. So if you are still wondering, we are getting a lot of messages. I'm sorry we are not able to respond. So this link, if you click on our channel, uh, if you just press on this, you will automatically get invited to the uh, Telegram channel. So please use this. You do not need any help to join the Telegram channel, which we have started, and uh, we are looking for some good uh, discussions over there. Uh, so what is happening? I think let's first look at the market, uh, and market is not doing pretty well. As you remember, I had talked about uh, this zone that it had to consolidate and move up. Uh, it moved up too fast, and uh, I had warned people about this, that if it is moving up too fast, just like what happened here, uh, it's not going to be sustainable, and that's what is happening right now. Uh, this was a very, very fast move, which uh, I did not like. I was hoping for it to kind of give a symmetric pattern where it consolidates around uh, $7,000 mark before it goes and jumps uh, all the way up. But I think right now uh, it's still not uh, in a, to a bear market again because uh, we have a lot of support areas. We have 7,300 immediate support area, then 7,000 and 6,850. But below 6,850, I will be very bearish again. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll break uh, the lows if we go below that. So be very careful here. <clears throat> I think the market is uh, still continuously uh, looking to find a support. Uh, these were the two bad days. I think last couple of days look uh, pretty bad, but uh, hopefully it will recover. And let's have a close look at EOS. I think it's struggling as well as uh, all, all the other altcoins are struggling. And uh, I hope that it finds a base because I think EOS is doing pretty well. We will look at uh, some of the metrics uh, which we track. Uh, very soon. So while we are waiting for that to upload, uh, so this is what I was highlighting. So EOS is now on the top. It is consistently hitting um, millions of transactions. That is uh, 8 million transactions. At, at one point, it was 9.4 million transactions uh, per day, which is huge. I think if you look at the top three now, you can see that uh, all three Daniel Edimer creations, Steam, BTS, and uh, uh, that is BitShares and EOS. And as we always expected this, EOS had to be on the top. And the most important part is not the number of transactions, but how much is the ut utilization of the network. And even by topping it, we are looking at 0.65% utilization. That means we can again go almost 150% uh, more, sorry, 150 times more than what it is right now. And that is what is exciting. And as uh, we always compare it with Ethereum, Ethereum is always 100% occupied even with the much lower number of transactions right now, and uh, it's kind of um, not many people are using it, you can say Ethereum. Uh, but let me remind you, the, all these transactions are mostly uh, some kind of spam or some testing which is happening on EOS. It is only showing the capability of the network. It is not yet a very heavily used chain. And once that happens, I think uh, you can understand that the valuation will automatically go up. So while we, are, we were waiting for the chart to load, here the chart is loaded. And as you can see, we still have a solid base here around uh, $7 mark. So I would look for this to hold in this. Uh, but uh, I think it's, uh, if the markets are looking shaky, it can go down. So we have to be very careful here. But uh, as I said, EOS is very, very solid platform. And I'm not too worried. I'm not trading EOS. I'm just holding EOS uh, for a long time. So I'm not looking at it at a day-to-day -day basis uh, like I usually look at Bitcoin and other accounts. So what else happened? I think while we were not doing videos, the, one of the important things which was happening at the time was the uh, the RAM update. As I had earlier updated, Dan Larimer, Dan Larimer had said that uh, he wanted this to increase at a continuous pace. The code was available and BPs had to approve it. And uh, this was approved while I was uh, still away. And uh, as you can see that uh, the 15 BPs were needed and they approved it. It's a very good sign to see like who are those VPs who are still not uh, approving these. This is not a good, great thing, right? Means why, why should these VPs not uh, support a move which will help uh, stabilize the RAM market? And if we see the RAM prices, they have been crashing down. It's pretty cheap now. You know, it's like $1.23 per kilobyte, which is not a bad uh, thing. 
especially with the changes coming in. Even if you want today an account for like four kilobyte of memory, which is more than enough for anybody, uh, you can make it for uh, uh, $5, which is not bad for a blockchain, which is going to be free forever. And uh, that's pretty good. So RAM utilization is uh, now showing RAM availability at 66 gig. So there was some FUD around uh, you know, what happened when the code changes were implemented. I think a lot of people were talking about uh, this uh, buffer overflow error and uh, how it was applied wrongly. So guys, yes, it was a mess up. I would agree that I think I'm still not caught up on all the details, but what I'm hearing is uh, this was a software bug. And you need to understand these is, softwares are in, known to have bugs. They are, these are found in time and they are fixed. Uh, no damage was done. Uh, maybe there was uh, some extra RAM which got added, uh, which is not a big deal. So I would not be worried about that. So uh, so don't worry about these kind of FUD. I think uh, the uh, software's issues happen. They get fixed. Maybe a, one week of additional RAM was added, as I understand, which is not a huge issue. Uh, when Because what if this uh, RAM increase had started one week earlier? So that's not a problem at all. Right now, it's 66 gig. This will keep going up. Just for the people who do not understand this change, that is, um, uh, this change is, was proposed as a one kilobyte memory adding every block. Every block means we have millions of blocks per month. And ultimately, 64 gig will be added in one year. That's what we are seeing here. And uh, so it will be almost double the memory. So these are some of the things uh, I think you need to understand. So RAM is uh, going down, which is good for the ecosystem. RAM traders are not happy. Uh, so I think they should have known what they are getting into when they started trading them. Now let's look at what are the top block producers. So a quick thing is uh, EOS Canada is on top, EOS New York, all these are great block producers doing a lot of good work. EOS Authority, uh, which is actually one of the most diversified voter list. Uh, and then uh, we have EOS 42, which started this whole um, operations for securing accounts and helping people get their stolen tokens back. A lot of good uh, BPs on the top. We still have concerns about a lot of other BPs like EOS Vixen. I don't know what they're doing for community. I'm very glad to see Graymas coming in top 21 now, uh, which is a great thing. They have been doing a lot for the community. They deserve to be in top 21. Uh, but I think uh, there are a lot of others uh, which are like Cypher Glass, which is doing a lot of good stuff. They are still down. I think we there's a lot of scope to continuously look for good VPs to come up and uh, we, we are still going to continuously investigate what's going on. But in the meantime, one thing I wanted to update to you guys is um, in, we are working on a website for our uh, group and now we have a very early version of our website uh, and this is uh, investingwiththedifference.com. So do check it out. Tell us what you would like to see. Right now it shows you the videos which we do on YouTube. We have some links and we are continuously going to improve it for EOS community. So this is uh, mainly targeted for EOS community right now, and uh, you will see more and more useful stuff coming in here. We have uh, tried to add uh, uh, some tools and some resources, and we will continuously improve this uh, website as we go along. So please remember, this is a very early stage. We have uh, just spent a very little time on this, but uh, again, thanks a lot for all the responses we are seeing on Telegram. I think we want to connect with people and build community, whatever tools you feel comfortable with. And uh, where you and make make information available easily. That's our goal. And we thought that uh, a website format will really help. So these are the few things I wanted to update. While I'm still going to be you know, on travel for another couple of weeks, I'll try to do videos as much as I can. Uh, plus, uh, we will keep talking about key things which are happening in EOS world. I think one key thing which I did not have anything to show today, but I would like to talk about is uh, while we are talking about uh, this whole RAM issue, which was resolved and the RAM prices came down. I think the next step, uh, I think Dan Larimer had proposed that maybe he can tokenize CPU, which is still a very early stage, but uh, this is again, so there's a mixed reaction coming in from people. Some people don't like it because just like RAM shot up, the CPU can shoot up. Uh, the other thing he was talking about, uh, the rewards for staking tokens, so that's how the CPU token will be created. So it's a very uh, innovative idea. I think this can really create value for EOS as a token. So as the price of the EOS will go up, like right now we are like $7 and it's struggling. I think all these ideas, I think what Block.1 is trying to do and what Dan Larimer is trying to do is to, because the EOS is such a useful blockchain and as you can see, we can do so many transactions. How do you commoditize uh, this RAM and CPU and get more investor money in and uh, drive the price for the token holders? So this is very sim similar to what... Uh, CEO of a company does when he is uh, trying to boost the share price of uh, a company. 
So it's very similar activity as a being coming from a like, you know, corporate angle, block to one is tr- continuously going to do that. Um, and it's not bad for the token holders, as long as they keep in mind that uh, these resources should be uh, usable for a small app developer. And that's what I think they did finally by fixing this RAM price. So their intention is not to uh, make it expensive, but to make it more uh, value add. So as we learn more about the new proposal, we will share about it. Don't worry about it right now. But I think it's overall things are moving in the right direction. And as you can see, these basic things are still still being moved around in EOS. So you can imagine where we are. So EOS is at a very early stage. It is not yet a mature system like Ethereum. And uh, so what we need to look at is the positive side of it. It's just a starting point. We are getting very good uh, throughputs in the network. We are getting pretty good uh, set of block producers now, continuously churning out blocks. Uh, without any problem, we have a pretty good uh, voter uh, base, which is like now above 34%. Uh, we are getting a lot of people voting. Uh, let's have a quick look at where our proxy is, uh, uh, whether we are able to get more people into our group. So let me wait for that to load. Uh, and uh, I think we started doing the dApps uh, videos, and uh, that is something we will continuously do. Unfortunately, as I'm out uh, these days, I could not record more of those. But definitely, we will keep adding, as I said. And hopefully that will give you a lot of uh, useful information. So there we are investing with a difference. We have now 289. That's great. I think we have a lot of people coming together now. And uh, I think the number of tokens is still not as per, as other whales uh, who have accumulated. But that's the intention. I think we always wanted to be a group for uh, small investors. And I think uh, I'm for me, the most important number is how many people are coming together and uh, supporting a cause, which is uh, for finding the best 21 BPs. And we will do a lot more work in this direction as we go along and we will share with you what we are trying to do here. Uh, And I'm setting up a base right now. I don't have much to share in this direction, but I think ultimately uh, our goal is to keep helping EOS ecosystem and uh, helping identify the best uh, block producers. Uh, But just a reminder, please take your tokens uh, while the voting percentage will go up and voting uh, tokens weight will go up. Uh, In future, you are going to earn based on the proposals coming along for staking tokens, I think so you should get in a habit of staking more tokens and defining how you are going to work around that. And uh, that will be the best way uh, for owning EOS and uh, to enjoying the, the ride up as uh, we create more and more uh, ecosystem around EOS. So again, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, please try out our site. Uh, do send, tell us the responses. It's uh, investingwiththedifference.com, easy to remember. Um, and do send, keep sending your comments on YouTube. I think uh, most of you are right now watching us on YouTube channel and you are uh, really enjoying it, I hope. And I think uh, as you can see here, I'm in Great Britain, that is UK right now. I will be continuously traveling for next couple of weeks. So I will try to update as much as I can. Thanks again for being on our channel and waiting for patiently for these videos. And uh, we really love all the support and look forward to keep talking to you in future. Thanks.